Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Pennsylvania with Long Island Audit Sean Paul Reyes as he gets trespassed from yet another DMV. I mean, this guy has no respect for anybody's personal information whatsoever. He's got to go into uh, DMVs and cause trouble. Well, that's just par for the course for many frauditors. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Department of Transportation Driver's License Center here in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting inside the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation Driver's License Center. Let's take a look around. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? How can I help you? Um, I don't need any help at the moment, ma'am. Thank you. You don't need any services here today? Not at the moment, no. I'm just going to look at the, some literature on the walls, and I'll get back to you. Okay, are you recording? Am I recording, ma'am? Uh -huh. I am recording, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So you all can't hear what I just heard, but apparently they are stopping services while I am here, which is what they did at the last driver's license center we were at. There goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue that when we the people record them. Sir, how can we help you today? Hey, sir, how are you? Who are you? I'm the manager here. You're the manager and your name, sir? My name is Matthew. My name is Sean, sir. Hi. Uh, I'm just an independent journalist. I'm here to use the Department of uh, Transportation Drivers of the Center is for its intended purposes. Just gathering some content. I received a lot of complaints regarding this specific branch here. Okay. So I'm just gathering some content for my story. Oh wow, Sean! Once again, you're a freaking liar. Because if that was your original intended purpose, you would have said something at the beginning of the video about it. But yet you didn't, Sean. When are you going to stop lying your ass off in your videos? Oh wait, you're not going to do that because, well, that won't be any good content right there for your brainwashed followers who think that you're a perfectly honest man. Which is far, far from the truth, obviously. So actually, I'm actually, we ask that you do not film in our location because there's a lot of personal information around here. Uh, you have welcome. personal information lying around in the public, sir? There's personal information in the center. We don't want you to inadvertently capture some of that on film. Uh, I'm not saying that you're going to do that, but if you have business at the desk, we'll be happy to help you get through, and you're welcome to film that. But other than that, we're going to ask that you do not film in our location because we have signs posted all over the place. You have signs that say Correct. what? Do not poop. All right, back on the wall. And that would be to protect private information that you have laying yep. around in public? That's part of it. Because we deal with private information. But it's not laying around for anybody to see, right? We do ask that you do not film in our location. So if you do if you have business at the desk, we're more than happy to help you get through it. Do you have business here? Well, than, yeah, we can get to that, but No, my, no, that's that's all I'm interested in. Is do you have business here that you need to take care of for your own licensing? Well, sir, I'm, I'm here to first exercise my First Amendment right of gathering content and, uh, for my story, so freedom of press right. Film in our location. This is a public building? This is not a public building. Who owns the building, then? It's not. It's, it's, it's a leased space. Well, it's leased no. by the government. No, but it's, it's not a public space. So, the it, other question is I have, do you have business at the location other than trying to film in our location? Well, yes, sir, I do. All right, so can I help you to a desk, and you're more than happy to get, the, to get that done? Well, sir, no, I'm, I'm here to conduct... Okay. Constitutionally protected I, I business. Understand, I understand sir. what you're saying, but now we've asked that you don't film in our location. I understand okay. that you're asking me that, sir. Yes, okay. I understand that. All right. So, do you want to continue to film? If you do, I would I'm like to end this conversation. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and advise my supervisor that. Uh, you I thought you not. were the manager. I have. Everybody has a supervisor. Right. Okay. I have a supervisor. Okay. And he, okay. is that person here today? No, he's not. Sean, you numbskull! I'm beginning to wonder if you've ever worked a day in your life. 
I do believe, though, you said that you were a warehouse manager at one point, but don't you realize that there is a chain of command in a lot of these places, and there's the lower-ranking managers all the way to the top-ranked managers, you moron? I mean, that's generally how it works. I mean, the, it's called distribution of labor. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm just here to promote transparency okay, so and accountability within our government, finish, sir. If you do not want to finish filming here, and you don't want to go to a desk, I'm going to ask everybody to stop what they're doing, and we're not going to process anybody here. Why would that be, sir? Because we're here to protect their information, that's why. But I'm not, I'm obviously not gathering any uh, we, private information, we sir. We ask that you do not film the location. We have signs posted all over the place that you do not am film. I, but am I recording any personal information or confidential information right now, sir? We've asked that you don't. At this point, I'm not going to engage you anymore. I'm just going to go in for get my supervisor. Uh, Sean, uh, this is all about protecting people's personal information. I mean, don't you get that? I mean, don't. Any of you frauditors ever get that? Oh wait, you're all a bunch of criminal scumbags anyway who cr take great delight in stealing personal information anyway. And I'm sure there's a lot of identity thieves that uh, look through these videos in great detail to find any juicy information they can to get a hold of social security numbers and everything like that. And I've seen videos where frauditors go in and actually film people's social security numbers. So, so this is really about the protection of people's identity and preventing them from being screwed over by people like you. You freaking moron. Much later. Yeah, no, as, as soon as he calls, I just want to speak to law enforcement about it. I'm just trying to effect some change here for some transparency and accountability. Yeah, but I'm not trying to, ma'am. Ma'am, this is exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to turn you against me. That's what they're trying to do. I'm not stopping you from. I'm not stopping you from conducting your business, ma'am. I'm not. Uh, Sean, you always say that the illness is on them to protect the information within the building. Well, Sean, this is part of how they're going to be doing this from this point on, and I fully support it. If you've got to shut down the building to get the asshole out of there, then so much the better, because we don't need people stealing personal information. It is Bad enough as it is with all the things that are going on in this world that people get their information stolen and money taken out of their banks, bank accounts and everything like that without idiots like you making that so much harder on everybody in the world. So you need to take your ass out that damn door and never come back in. Much, much later. They're protecting my rights and telling me you're not supposed to be doing what you're doing. So please. But that's, they're, you are the, they're the ones that are giving you the problem, not me, ma'am. I'm being reasonable. I went into the lobby area here. They asked you to go outside and you're in the lobby. Yeah. I understand. Uh, what personal info? He says he's trying to protect your personal information. Be reasonable. What personal information am I getting from you're standing right here? Recording while they have everyone's personal information. But what personal information, sir, can I get from being right here? Nothing. So it's unreasonable. Yeah, I understand. It's, I it's unreasonable. How? I understand, but 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 do you understand that he's trying to? This is this is the this is the response, but this is the response that he's trying to elicit. He's trying to get you to attack me. But why aren't we saying? Why aren't we demanding? Why aren't we demanding of our public servants the ones we? Why aren't we demanding of our public servants the one that we pay tax dollars to to do their job? Oh, but they are doing their job, Sean. They're helping to prevent identity theft, which is part of their job, to keep information as private as they can. If that means kicking your sorry ass out the door so their information won't be stolen, then so much the better. But at any rate, let's just go ahead and just skip ahead to when the cops arrive and he ends up getting trespassed. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Much, much later. Hi sir, how are you? I didn't hear you before. So they don't want you back on the property. It is private property, it's not public. If they ask you to leave, you're gonna have to leave, okay? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? It's right here, sir. Right here? Yes. Is that H-E-R? It's right here. 
Okay, can I get your information? How do you spell right? Can I have your information? Oh, your name's not right here. You were just being rude. Can I have your information? Sir, this is, this is not private property. They, they don't want you there. You'll be arrested for trespass. This, this is, is not, not private this property. This is official warning. They told you and I told you you're not welcome back. Okay? They never told me that. I'm we're, telling we're, you. You can't tell me that. They I'm have to tell me that. that. I, they, so let's let's. I, no, they, I can so tell you. You're not an authorized representative of theirs. I am. You're not. I am. I you just said it's a private building. I just, and yet you just said it was not a private building, Sean. So which is it, dude? Which is it? Is it privately owned or government owned? Either way, you can still get trespassed if you have no business there. And numerous frauditors have tried and been trespassed. In fact. Uh, Rebel Riot Girl Radio, or whatever the hell she's calling herself these days, is having to go through court cases because of it. And guess what? Well, uh, Chili is trying to help her out, but uh, so yeah, that probably won't go anywhere. And not not very well for her anyway. Eventually. What did you say your name was again, sir? Sean. Sean. S H A W N or S E A N? S E A N. S E A N. Yep. So, I just spoke to the district manager on the phone, okay, um, so their issue with the filming inside is the personal identifying information of patrons that are inside the building. They have to stop all operations because that is a controlled item, um, be like having your social security number laying out for somebody to come around and take pictures of, things of that nature. That's why they have to stop any sort of operations when people are filming inside. Their issue is not so much with you being inside, with you being trying to do some sort of investigatory story, anything of that nature. It is solely with the filming while people people are inside. Okay. Um, what the district manager has offered is the press contact so that you can arrange a tour after hours or when the place is closed down so it's not open to the public. So you can come in, you can film, and you can do your story that you need to. Um, and as far as it goes in here for filming inside, you're able to go inside, you're just not able to film. I mean, does that make sense to you? Well, what law would I be breaking if I'm able to go inside but I just can't film inside? What law is that? Because you just said I'm able to go inside. Right, without filming. Without so, filming. So again, that's what I'm saying. What law would I be breaking if I went inside while you filming? You would be falling into defiant trespass at this point again, like I said earlier, all right, because there's conditions attached to using the property. In this so case, it's a conditional trespass. It would be defined trespass. There's not really a conditional trespass. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Well, That's what I'm fine. saying. You know, it doesn't necessarily it, have to make you, sense. You can't put you can't put conditions on a trespass, sir. Okay. So again, sir, I've explained this to you. If you would like the contact, I will happily provide it to you. Um, I'll take whatever contact information you have. But just just to be clear, if I went in there exercising my rights of recording in a publicly accessible area, you would arrest me. At this point, you would be issued a citation. Yes, I don't have much option in this matter because we've discussed it, and with them, as long to, as long as we're as long as we're clear. Now, I just ask you another question, What's and this your, probably what's my other question? My, this is my last question. If I went in there and I was praying, or if I was, you know, if I went in there and the and the manager came out and told you, "Hey, sir, so, Corporal, excuse me, Corporal Hoover." Well, I'm just going to end it right there because he is trespassed from the building. But at any rate, Sean, they did offer you a way to film in that building after hours. Don't you get it? They don't mind freedom of the press. It's just that you know, the personal information is the issue at hand. Don't you freaking get it? I mean, are you that freaking dense? If you really thought you could film in that place, if you really wanted to gather content for a story and publish a story, then go that route of contacting their press agency and get that uh, permission to do so. Because at this rate, you're just making yourself look like an unreasonable asshat. I mean, they gave you a condition. And that condition was you can come back after hours and film to your heart's content. But right now, yeah, it just seems like you are on the side of the identity thieves. And that is my opinion of that right there because you have such a hard on about this issue of filming in here with the public in there when you can come back later when the public is not 
there with their personal information. And that's just the way it seems like at this point. It's not about the First Amendment. You want to be one of those identity thieves, don't you, Sean? Is that what this is about? You want to freaking steal people's personal information so you can uh, scam people? Is that what you want to do? But at any rate, guys, uh, yeah, at least he got trespassed and everybody did their jobs to protect that information. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?